So I was curious about which lints Rust programmers actually use in their programs. If you're not aware, you can annotate your code with uh, extra lints from either the Rust compiler or Clippy to be make your code extra strict. So I thought a good way to do that would be to download every crate and go and look. So I did that. Conveniently, there's a crate called Get All Crates, made by the famous David Tolney, uh, and it's perfect for doing research on every crate in crates.io. Once we've downloaded everything, the next step is to extract and search through all the crates. Eventually we get a TSV file and we can use command line tools to extract the top lints. Let's dig into this list because there are some really fascinating things in here. In the top spot is deny missing docs. Now this is a really nice lint to see at the top. Deny missing docs will prevent the compiler from compiling code where there are any missing public items without documentation. Next on the list is forbid unsafe code. Forbid is an extra level above deny, which makes it impossible for crate authors to opt in to unsafe or whichever lint uh, on a case-by-case -case basis. So they can't annotate any specific item with allow. It's not a perfect guarantee, but it's as close as we can get. Deny warnings takes the third place. And now this is an interesting one because it's one I personally don't recommend. We are promoting all warnings to errors here. And this is uh, on the surface a very, very good thing. It means that our code is very strict. However, it also prevents the ability for you to automatically upgrade your code to a new version of Rust if a new lint is, uh, sorry, a new warning is introduced to the language in, a new, in the next version, uh, suddenly your CI system will break without manual intervention. So I don't think that it is something that should be added automatically to every crate. Uh, let's not go through the rest of the list, but I would actually like to point out one more, which is missing debug implementations. I think this is quite useful because it biases you to think about how your users are accepting your API. We want to make things as easy for people consuming our crate as possible. And that would mean implementing traits like hash, equality or partial equality, ORD, uh, and debug uh, as frequently as possible. Before ending the video, I would just like to show you how to access more information about each of these lints so you can make your own choices. There are web pages for both the Rust C lints and the Clippy lints. You also have the option of the command line. Uh, that's Rust C dash capital W help uh, will give you the very, very long list of Rust C lints, for example. I hope this has been a fun and informative look at Clippy Lints and Rust C Lints. I wish you all the best for your Rust programming journey. My name is Tim Clicks and I am on the planet to build a better planet. You're welcome to like, subscribe and uh, suggest future videos. I'm always interested in your ideas. Take care. Goodbye.